What if the world disowned nuclear weapons? This is J. Robert Oppenheimer. He is the father of atomic bombs. As the world war is on its peak, his babies, the little boy and the fat man, are going to change the fate of humanity. It's the nuclear attack on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, one of the deadliest attacks of all time. The little boy was dropped in Hiroshima to cause big destruction, wiping away 66,000 citizens. And the fat man was dropped on Nagasaki, killing about 39,000 people on impact. The result? Allied victory at the cost of approximately 200,000 casualties. That's a lot of people. But have you ever thought, what makes these nuclear weapons so deadly? Well, unlike bombs, these bombs are not powered by flammable substances, but run on splitting atomic nuclei hence are called atomic bombs. We can think of the nucleus as a bunch of grapes. The only difference is that when you pluck a grape from a bunch, you can get a grape. But here, we get a neutron and a sudden release of energy. This process of splitting nucleus is called nuclear fission. This nuclear fission runs in a chain reaction to power the atomic bombs. These bombs just don't release energy, but also gamma radiation. Hiroshima and Nagasaki show the effects of gamma radiation till this date. After the World War II, UN saw this coming and decided to put brakes on this madness by calling for the complete elimination of nuclear weapons and sets up the United Nations Atomic Energy Commission to ensure the elimination from national armaments of atomic weapons and all other major weapons adaptable to mass destruction. But as you might have already guessed, they never succeeded. As of 2021, nine countries have developed nuclear weapons including Russia, U.S., France, U.K., Pakistan, India, Israel, and North Korea. Collectively, these are over 13,000 nuclear weapons. Whew! Those are a lot of countries with a lot of nuclear weapons. That is a thing to be concerned about. The effect of the nuclear attacks on Hiroshima and Nagasaki can be seen to date. And those bombs were nothing compared with modern nuclear weapons. If a nuclear war strikes again, these weapons won't just wipe the life off the planet, but also make most of the planet radioactive and uninhabitable. These weapons are not just deadly, but also costly. According to an ICAN report, the world has spent about $72.9 billion on nukes in 2019 alone. Ever wonder where your taxes go? Just think what could have been possible with this huge amount if it could have been used in the education and health sectors. The ecological damage that could have been avoided. Only if we could get rid of nukes. Let's assume that all the nations have agreed to get rid of these bombs. Then what do we do now? Let's say we come up with a plan to detonate all these bombs at a safe spot. Then what will happen? Like every nuclear blast, we'll start with a big boom. This time, the blast can be seen from space. Although this might sound cool, but Earth will be cooler. Quite literally as this blast will deplete the ozone layer and the smoke generated will cover the entire planet giving rise to a nuclear winter. The majority of life on the planet will be white, either due to the cold, radiation from the sun, or cancer due to the gamma radiation of bombs. But let's assume that you're one of those cool people who was hiding in a bunker. Even then, you're out of luck as there won't be anything to eat or drink. In a nutshell, there's no escaping doom. So detonating bombs on the planet is a bad idea. But what if we relaunch a simulation and detonate these in outer space? Then first we'll enjoy a beautiful fire show of fireworks, but we won't be able to show these on our social media handles. As the blast will generate an electric magnetic charge, which will interfere with all the electronic devices, shutting them down. Even all the satellites stop working as the effect of the magnetic field will be seen in an area which is many times bigger than that of Earth. Even if we are ready to bear this cost, it's still too risky, as the planet will become radioactive. Let's look at the safest approach. First, we dismantle the bomb part by part, which leaves us with the heart of the bomb, the nuclear core. Unfortunately, this core can't be discarded, but we can use them to run power plants for years. Although this might sound like the best option, but it's still not safe. History is filled with incidents like Fukushima Daiichi nuclear disaster, 2011, the Chernobyl disaster, 1986, the Three Mile Island accident, 1979, and the SL-1 accident, 1961, where the power plants have malfunctioned and their radioactivity is affecting people till date. Now the choice is ours, whether we need these weapons or a bright and safe future. Let us know in the comments.